Hi, welcome. Welcome back to Make It with Mod Podge. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Kathy Fillion, and I have got one, two, three, four fun pumpkin ideas to share with you today. We're going to be creating this really cool fabric covered pumpkin. Now this is really awesome if you see one of those pumpkins at the store and you're like, mm, that's not my color, or you find something at the thrift store and you wanna make it over. We did this one with just some fabric. You can use any print you wanted, but I loved this with these flowers in it. And I'm using a little bit of sparkle ribbon, it's really simple to put together. You can add flowers to this. And for this design, I'm using um, Mod Podge in matte. And that is going to attach all of that fabric to your pumpkin and give you this really cool look. It's like a boutique pumpkin now. So let's dive right in and start the making on that one. For the fabric covered pumpkin, I'm using Mod Podge in matte and a paper mache pumpkin, but this technique would work on any fake pumpkin. The first thing that you're going to do is measure a loose measure of your fabric. You want it to go around your pumpkin and you wanna have enough to cinch at the top and at the bottom. Then you're just gonna coat your entire pumpkin with matte Mod Podge. You wanna make sure you get a nice, full coverage all the way around. Then you'll basically just wrap your fabric around the pumpkin and you'll press your fabric into the pumpkin and into the grooves so that it really attaches around that center part. You can use scissors to trim away some of the excess fabric along the top of the stem area. Once you've removed some of the bulk, you can go ahead and seal the fabric shut across the seam. Just use more Mod Podge and overlap the fabric onto itself. You'll use more Mod Podge to glue the top section around the stem and to glue the fabric onto the base of the pumpkin. Once that's done, you can add decorative ribbon to really highlight the grooves of the pumpkin. For this, I'm just using a little bit of hot glue at the top and then wrapping my ribbon around to the back. Once I have all the ribbons done, it's ready to finish off the pumpkin. I'm gonna finish off the pumpkin with just a felt black circle on the bottom. This will help protect my furniture and also gives it a polished look if this is something you're giving as a gift. For the stem, I'm just gonna hot glue a little bit of twine to finish it off. And then I'm adding some really cute flowers that match the print of my fabric. Isn't it so cool, you guys, how just a little bit of fabric can transform a pumpkin into a completely different look. So next time you're at the fabric store, make sure you're checking out all those cute designs and see what you can use on your Halloween and fall decor. I want to talk to you guys about Mod Podge Mega Glitter. That is how I created this pumpkin. Now this pumpkin came cream and we just gave it a quick makeover by using some Mod Podge Mega Glitter. And Mega Glitter has a lot of different sizes of glitter in it. You're gonna see how thick it is and how much glitter is in it. And that creates that really cool, beautiful shine and you get those light shines coming through here because we're gonna feather out our brush. All right, let's make this one. Mod Podge Mega Glitter comes in gold, silver, and hologram. Look at how much glitter is in there. This is a super thick formula, but it dries with so much sparkle. I like to load up my brush and put my thick amount of glittery Mod Podge at the top near the stem and then feather that down so you get a very light dusting towards the base of the pumpkin. All right, how about that shine? So pretty. Now, if you love gold, and so many people are decorating with gold this Halloween season, I wanted to share with you now, truth be told, this is not Mod Podge, but it's one of my favorite plaid products. And this is Treasure Gold, and it comes in lots of different metallic cover colors. And for this pumpkin, this was a store-bought pumpkin, and I'm gonna show you a picture. It was all white here, 
and I just gave it a coat of treasure gold on the back. And one of my favorite things about treasure gold is you may think of treasure gold from the past if you are a plaid fan and you've been using plaid products for a long time. But treasure gold now is no smell. It is a gorgeous paint. You can layer it up. It comes in several different gold, silvers, purples, all different colors, gorgeous metallics. So if you're at the store and you see something, thrift store, dollar store, even department store, and you're like, you know what? I wanna give it a little makeover. Maybe you don't wanna dive full into a craft project. Just grab some treasure gold and look at how you can do a really quick makeover. All right, I saved one of my favorites for last. I love the way this design turned out. Again, if you have a cute, just plain pumpkin, this is a faux pumpkin, but you could do this technique on a real pumpkin. I use the treasure gold in a little bit shinier gold on that top there. And I wanna show you how you can create this masquerade. Again, for the season this year, you've probably seen it, a lot of the decor stores and your craft stores. There's a lot of pink florals going on with Halloween. So we just added some pink flowers there. And this doily mask is so easy to make. That was a 99 cent mask and a $1.99 doily. So let's show you how you do that one. That we're going to be using Fabric Mod Podge, one of my favorite formulas for attaching fabric two items. So let's dive in and do that one. To make the masquerade mask, I'm using Fabric Mod Podge. This is a great formula for attaching fabric or fibers to other fibers or to other materials. I'm using a doily. You're just going to apply the Fabric Mod Podge all over the mask. Then you'll press the doily into the mask. Once it's dry, you can go ahead and use scissors to cut off the excess and to cut around the eye holes. Then I'm just adding some flowers and decorative details to the sides. All right, what do you think of our masquerade pumpkin? Again, I've got this on a faux pumpkin, but you could do this technique on a real pumpkin or a faux pumpkin. I did the masquerade mask, but you could do any style. You could do a Frankenstein mask if you wanted to. It's endless. Just have fun decorating for the holidays this season. And remember, it's your home and your space, so make it for you. Find that fabric you love and go ahead and alter one of those pumpkins from the store and make it your personality. Thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure you use those hashtags Plaid Crafts and Mod Podge so everybody at Plaid can see what you're making. I'll be back here next week with another fun video. Make sure you check us out on TikTok and on Instagram because we're sharing short form videos over there where you can get a taste of the projects. All right, I'll see you next week.